Agriculture is one of Uganda's sectors that does not only employ the biggest percentage of the nation's workforce, but also provides food security and wealth creation at different levels. The sector, however, grapples with climate change, a problem that leaves a number of farmers with low productions. Teddy Wabomba is one farmer who has outlived the problematic environmental drastic changes in Soroti district. Soroti is in a hot place. So when we have sunshine, sunshine accelerates growth when we have water. You know, many so, farmers in Uganda are crying over the climatic change that is making their life hard. But you know, when you damage nature, also nature will replace you. So according to me, when you have trees on the side of your gardens, or you intercrop trees with your plants, you are putting right the damage the ecosystem. So I wish everyone who wants to get a good yield and good looking plants, they would be planting trees to intercrop them with their plants. In order to be free, if you are a friend of nature, there is, a, there is no way nature will let you down. So people who are crying of climatic change being harsh on them, it is because they've been harsh to nature at a certain moment. So they are just paying for sins. There is no way God can be against us. It is us who are against the things which God put in the world with us. So to me, when you have those trees, they help shading this garden and against the sun. And even if wind is there, there is no day I will tell anyone that my plants have been broken by wind because I'm being guarded by these trees. So I would advise any farmer, any crop needs that guard of having what? Trees around. Any crop in Uganda. Because we've been having rain and this matoka I planted it in February this year. And you see how it has begun flowering. Here in Teso, within one year, you will be cutting matoke. Because of the heat, it helps growth. It accelerates growth when we have the water in the plants. It is not, now, when you plant matoke in Imbale, where I come from, it will take one and a half years or two years. But when I tried the soroti, I saw it grows faster. Because we have sandy soil and we have the, this sun also helps. Because some of those places don't have sunshine for even a week, you get there only in the rain. So in that time when there is no sunshine, plants are on the standstill. But here plants grow every day. So that's the advantage of Teso uh, above other places in planting matoke. I wish there was a law in uh, our, the government would put a law like I saw, is it in Philippines? That before you graduate, you plant 20 trees. So even us, if you want to do farming, you should have some number of trees you plant before you do what you do. But many people want to uproot trees to plant maize. That is damaging the environment. That's why climate is also sitting on us, because people have damaged the surrounding. So to repair our ecosystem, we should think of how to intercrop and put back at the nature and the, the, the ecosystem together. On these two and a half acres of land at Okidoi village in Asret sub-county, Teddy uses agri-technological innovations to add value to her business. Growing pineapples and the matoke in one garden, it, it helps a farmer so much because even if there is much sunshine, it cannot heat these plants because now the plants are guarded from the sun by these pineapples because pineapples don't easily lose water. They will always keep their water even without irrigating. So I think this part of the garden is the easiest someone can adapt because we don't have any irrigation here. 
we depend on rain, but because of the, ma the manure we put in between these rows of pineapples, it helps to feed the plants very well. You don't need anything very expensive if you have the manure within. I use my farmyard manure. And these trees, they help as a guard because a lot of our ecosystem in Uganda has been damaged by people who who make charcoal and then uh, even cutting the trees for timber and they leave the ground bare. But when you guard the farm like this with uh, all these trees, there is no way wind can blow this matoke inside here. And there is no way the sun will hit it much because when the sun comes, it's uh, trapped by the shade of the trees. So intercropping trees and plants is very healthy for us. But unfortunately, th people think it is only rich people to plant trees, not everyone. But trees should be made a policy that every farmer, if you want to do farming, you should not have less than 200 trees on your garden. Because climatic change is all about us ourselves. So we are the ones to reverse it. Let everyone take that initiative, have something on the side which can guard the what? The garden. Because to me, trees, I don't call them trees. Those are guards for the farm. There is no way wind can break your crops on the farm. There is no way the sun can damage you. All, you can see this canopy. It is all because of those trees. Welcome to Bego Family Farm, where Teddy Wabomba's innovations in curbing climate change have made her the best matoke grower in the area and also won her Best Farmers Award in the new vision, Netherlands Annual Competitions.